announcer bunny here to show you what's coming up next on Between the Lions. Meet Jean Jean's teacher, Mrs. Beacon, Dean and Dean's tween brother Deacon, Feed and Peaches, Treat and Keaton, Wheatley, Chester, Peak and Eden, Bee and Weaver, Fleas, Bees, Beagle, Beaky, Beaky's, Weaver's Eagle, Beavis, Heath and Neil and Devon, Dina, Deary, Teal and Cleavon. If you think that was fun, watch this. Hey now, hey wow, here's how, come and read between the lions, come on, come in, begin, the world awaits, are at hand, and by their show, you shall know all that you are like to know. I, prologue-like, your humble patients pray, gently to hear, kindly to judge our play. In other words... Why you him, oh. 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 And welcome all! Oh, they're welcome what? all. Let them have kind admittance. Music, make their welcome. Oh, oh, darry, <laughs> <laughs> pardon, pardon me, I'm coming through. Yes, okay. I agree. Excuse me. Pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, sir. I, I, I need your help. Well, then, it now appears you need my help. Uh, uh, is there a neck going here? Yes, yes, huh? I need to borrow a book on plumbing. Uh, neither a borrower nor a lender be. <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be a library. Mm -hmm. I borrow, you lend. Oh, um. It is. But today is Shakespeare Day. Uh. Thea was just saying something that Shakespeare wrote. Mm -hmm. Shakespeare? Who's Shakespeare? William Shakespeare. Arguably the greatest writer of poetry and plays who ever lived. Take him for all in all, this was a man. We shall not look upon his like again. Yes, well, I'm sure, but I, I, I still need to have a book about plumbing. I have a leaky pipe in my coop, and it's driving me nuts. Beep, 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 beep. Ha, 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 Sir Raspberry Anthony. <laughs> a hundred thousand welcomes. I could weep and I could laugh. I am light heavy welcome <laughs> i thank you good my lord where's your juliet ah, ah, would you please get out of my way oh, what, where is my book about plumbing she cannot come my lord she huh? is grievous sick mm. i am disconsolate all is in ruin mm. i'm so sorry to hear that mm. <gasps> but i'm sure you can find someone else to play your juliet yes i'm sure that you can nevertheless <laughs> Oops, sorry. This is our fair daughter, the Cub Leona. I'm the fairy queen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the fairy queen. I'm the fairy queen. I'm the fairy queen. Yes. Today on Shakespeare Day, she is our fairy queen. Yeah, yeah. Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. Illustrated by Michael K. Frith. Her chariot is an empty hazelnut made by the joiner squirrel or old grub. 
Time out of mind, the fairy's coachmakers. And in this state, she gallops night by night. Through lover's brain. And then they dream of love. Or courtier's knees that dream on curtsies straight. Or lawyer's fingers who straight dream on fees. Or lady's lips who straight on kisses dream. I don't understand everything she said, but I sure like the way it sounded. <laughs> Basically. Your mother said the fairy queen's job is to drive around the bodies of people and through their brains, making them each dream of different things. And she said it well. Mm-hmm. Bravo. Oh, sure what? did. Thank you, my lord. Through their brains? Oh, I like that. I am the fairy queen. <laughs> Hold on to your brains, everyone. Fairy queen coming through. Ooh. All of you! Now listen up and listen good! <clears throat> By now my chicken coop is probably five feet underwater! Somebody has got to get me a book about plumbing! A book about plumbing! A book about plumbing! My chicken coop for a book about plumbing! <clears throat> Withdraw my chicken. I'll help you to your book about plumbing. <clears throat> I have found my Juliet. Really? What passion? What, what feeling? You shall play my Juliet. Huh? The chicken? Yes. Let us away. What about my leaky pipes? Mm. You play Juliet, I'll fix your leaky pipes. You got yourself a Juliet. <laughs> The chicken is going to play Juliet. <laughs> what? Shall we be merry? Shall we have a play? Extempore? <laughs> <laughs> then onward! <laughs> if this were played upon a stage now, I could condemn it as an improbable fiction. <sighs> Shall we fund their pageancy? Lord, what fools these mortals be! <laughs> Dream. Dream. Actually, it's Dolphin. Oh, and now, Mark the Reader and the Vowels heat it up with the E sound made by the letters E, A, and me. E. <laughs> That's okay. Now, what can the great and wise and sassy Swami Marmy do for you? Oh, uh, can you read the tea leaves in my cup? Can I read the... Oh, is Yertle the turtle? Is Winnie the poo? Of course I can read the tea leaves in your cup. Oh. Tea leaves. But, 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 but what does it mean? What's going to happen in my future? What's going to happen? I'll tell you what's going to happen. You're going to clean that cup. <laughs> right. Oh, oh, thank you, Swami Marmy. Thank you, Dole Margin. Thank you. Hey, you forgot the saucer. <sighs> Peel. 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 Peel.
Deal. And now, Timeless Classic Masterpieces presents another chapter from that saga of the sea, Moby Duck, in which Captain Ahab, with the crew of the good ship Peapod, continues his endless search for Moby the Great White Duck. Call me freaky, but I sense that the sneaky duck is near. Methinks our long search will soon be over. Ah! Do you see him, Mr. Starbuck? Do you see the duck? Me, Captain Freaky, the seas be duckless. But I do see a big white sail. <laughs> and the seas be rough. Arg. Wait, Captain. There she quacks. Moby, the great white duck. Mr. Starbuck, that not be Moby, the great white duck. Arg, arg, no, arg, no. Look, see the print on screen there. S E A L. The E A in the middle make the sound E. Seal. That be Beasley, the really white seal. Arg. I be sorry, Captain. I must have been dreaming. <laughs> well, like I always say at the end of every chapter, snap out of it, matey! Moby, the great white duck, be near, very near. Methinks our search will soon be over. Ah. Some names with the letters E-A that sound like E. What a treat. Meet Jean Jean's teacher, Mrs. Beacon. Dean and Dean's sweet brother, Deacon. Reed and Peaches, Treat and Keaton. Wheatley, Chester, Peak and Eden. Bee and Weaver, Fleas, Bees, Beagle. Beaky, Beaky's, Weaver's Eagle. Beeth is Heath and Neil and Devon. Dina, Deary, Teal and Cleavon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your name? What's your name? Which, by mine art, I have from their confines called to enact my present fancies. Why now, blow wind, swell billow, and swim bark? The storm is up, and all is on the I wonder how the chicken is doing getting ready to play Julia. Take it easy. Take it easy. What's the matter? Oh, this is what's the matter. This Shakespeare. Look, you're Romeo, right? And I'm Julia. Huh? Look, look, look here. Look at what I'm supposed to say. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? You're right here in front of me. That's where you are. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. What, what, uh, you what, see, what? in Shakespeare's time, huh? 
Wherefore, I meant, why? Why must your name be Romeo? Why? You see, Juliet loved Romeo, but her family hates his family. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. You yeah, know, I know how she feels. I once had a thing for a mallard named Millard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If only he hadn't been a duck. I used to say to him, I used to say, Oh, Millard, 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 Millard. Why are you a duck? Why, why, why a duck? <laughs> Hold that emotion! Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try it again. Okay, yeah, yeah. Try it again. <laughs> oh, Romeo. Romeo. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? <gasps> Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. Uh, here you go. What? Ah. Oh, I thank thee. What? Thanks! <laughs> Are these things spoken, or do I but dream? Sir, they are, um, uh... Spoken? Yeah, Ooh. spoken. And these things are, um, uh... True? Yeah, mm. true. <laughs> Pigeons quoting Shakespeare? <laughs> this must be a dream. Juliet? You, you do? I do. Oh, Romeo. Romeo. Ah. Save it for the stage, my Juliet. Yo. 
my love, hmm? are you ready to cook? Cook? Mm. Ooh, yes! <laughs> Chef Theo, ready to cook! Mm. Okay. Today's recipe... Steam cleaned meat treat with no pea pods and no peach pits. Yummy! One! Get rid of the pea pods and the peach pits. Pea pods! Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! Uh, beach pits, sayonara! Boom! Two! Sneak up on the meat! Sneak, 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 sneak! Sneak, 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 sneak! <laughs> sneak! Three! Steam clean the meat! <gasps> Steam! <laughs> Meat steam clean! <laughs> Four! Heat the meat for ten seconds. Oh, oh. Ten seconds? Nah! Oh, oh, so so sweet! So meaty! <laughs> and now, a word from Hollywood star, Ms. Roma Downey! Easy. Oh, that was great! Oh, wonderful! Oh, thank you. That was wonderful. Here you go. It was easy. Oh, it was easy. Oh, no, no, no. Really, it was so easy. Oh, 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 it's easy. Oh, it's easy. Oh, again. E. Dream. light through yonder window breaks. It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon. I may. She speaks. Oh, speak again, bright angel. Oh, Romeo. <gasps> Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not be but sworn, my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Beautiful job. Oh, uh, nice. Real nice. Oh, Sir Asbury was right. Hmm? Oh, that chicken was wonderful. Yeah. I could never have done so well. Oh, oh Cleo. Come here. She could never compare to you. Oh. None. None could compare to you. Oh, and none compares to you, Theo. <laughs> Shall I compare thee to a, a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, <laughs> and summer's lease hath all too short a date. Sometimes too hot the the eye of heaven shines, and and often is his gold complexion dimmed. And every fair from fair sometime declines, by chance or nature's changing course untrimmed. But thy eternal summer shall not fade, nor lose possession of that fair thou owest. Nor shall death brag thou wanderest in his shade, when in eternal lines to time thou growest. So long as, as men can breathe or eyes can see, so long lives this, and this gives life to thee. Nosy, 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 nosy. nosy. Huh?
If we shadows have offended, think but this, and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here, while these visions did appear. And this weak and idle theme, <laughs> no more yielding but a dream. stage and all the men and women merely players nice play will i thank you buster don't call me buster there are games and stories at the between the lions website pbskids.org or america online keyword pbs kids what's that lino oh that leona is a lug nut. Uh -huh. <laughs> a kid who gets wild about reading gets wild about learning. Be a designated reader. <laughs> What's that? Mm, lug nut. 